when I realized what the need was, I just said, what can I do to help? Because that's what you do in a crisis, you help. I was born in the United States, but my mother came to um, Boston when she was 17. She met my dad in Boston, who also had come from Ireland. It was the height of the troubles, and there, there wasn't anything in Ireland for young people at the time. She's always been, had a very adventurous spirit, and I think the States has always been, to everyone, this American dream. My friend Erin really started doing the math. She was a Project Runway winner for season 15. I saw she posted on Instagram that she was making masks, and I have a lot of friends that are nurses, and so I contacted her to get masks for my nurse friends. And then when I went to go, I said, how can I help? set up the studio at my house. Everything during this pandemic has happened so quickly. I think in the past month we've done over 3,000 masks that we've donated. We've gotten so many requests from all over, but we've also gotten a lot from medical custodial staff. It seems that there's a hierarchy in the distribution of the PPE. Custodial staff seem to be low on the totem pole, even though they're cleaning their rooms and the bathrooms and the floors and all the surfaces, and we still don't know in all the ways it can be transmitted, so they're scared. Now we're really lucky because we just partnered with Brother, who makes sewing machines, and they make Aaron's sewing machine. They saw what we were doing, and they've now given us the opportunity to give away 20 machines all over the country. We're sending one to a gentleman in South Texas who's gonna make them for people who are in detention camps. We have a first-generation immigrant whose mother and grandmother and aunt were all seamstresses and none have access to a sewing machine. And they're gonna make masks for their community in California. So it's been amazing to, to donate masks, but it's been even more amazing to give people opportunities to do it themselves and to help in their communities. There is no nationality at this time. We're all in this together. This is one of the only times in humanity where literally borders don't matter, genders don't matter, skin color doesn't matter, religion doesn't matter. This is the same thing that's happening to everybody. And so we have to focus on that.